Elevation dimensions allow you to place height markers in section, elevation, or interior elevation views, as well as in 3D document windows. Activate the section, elevation dimension 2.5 entry in the favorites palette. Open the elevations and place individual markers by clicking the points that you want to dimension. Finally, double click or click OK in the control box to proceed. Use the hammer cursor to position the marker. Working with elevations is very similar to sections. The process is explained in the previous chapter. Open the South Elevation view from the Navigator palette. We can improve the elevation view by adding a realistic background image behind it. Double click on the Figure tool in the toolbox. Click the Open button to browse the directory system for image files. Select the Sky Cloudy 2 Photo JPEG file from the ARCHICAD library. Background Images – Photos folder. Set the bottom left anchor point. Click OK. Place the figure with a single click. Resize the image by using the pet palette. ARCHICAD is shipped with an extensive parametric object library, which helps you to quickly improve your model and documentation. Let's place a few tree objects on the elevations. Open the Object Default Settings by double-clicking the Object tool in the toolbox. Browse for a tree object in the linked library. There are two ways to do this. Select the tree object from the ARCHICAD library, Basic Library, 2D Elements, Plant Symbols folder, or choose the Find Library Parts option to locate library parts by name using keywords in a search engine. Type the tree keyword and press the Find button. Select the preferred tree object. Open the Tree Elevation Styles area and select Style 3. Click OK. Place the tree object in the Elevation view. You have to position the tree object behind the building. To do this, you must change the display order of the object. Select the object. Option 1. Choose the Edit, Display Order, Send Backward command. You may have to run this command twice to achieve the appropriate result. Option 2. Right-click to bring up the Elements Context menu, and then select the Display Order, Send Backward command twice. Create a copy of the tree object. Activate either the Edit, Move, Drag a Copy command, or use the Control-Shift-D shortcut on Windows or the Command-Alt-D shortcut on Macintosh. Replace the type of the tree. Double-click on the Object tool and select another tree object from the folder. Place the new 20 people symbols in the elevation view. The furniture layout is already available in an external ARCHICAD module file. We'll merge it into our project to shorten the documentation and modeling time. Please note, you can learn more about ARCHICAD modules in other volumes of this training guide series. Activate the ground floor view from the Navigator palette. Select the File, File Special, Merge command. 
and browse for the furnishingplan.mod module file and click Open to proceed. Until the file is placed, its elements will be surrounded by a dashed rectangle. Click within the rectangle to move the elements to the desired position. Click Outside or click OK from the context menu to place the elements. Enable Showing and Unlocking Layers if necessary. ARCHICAD offers you various visualization modes to present your design to your customers. You can select from two predefined rendering settings from the Navigator palette. The first uses the Lightworks rendering engine. while the second works with the sketch rendering engine. The 3D document is a unique ARCHICAD feature that presents your models with annotations in a 3D perspective or axonometric view. The 3D document allows you to use the 3D view of the model as the basis for creating a document to which you can add dimensions, labels, and additional 2D drawing elements. Open the 3D1 document from the Navigator palette. Select the Dimension tool. Activate DIM 2.5 from the Favorites palette. Set the position of the text to top. Choose the Horizontal Dimension plane from the Info box. Select the XY only geometry method. Place individual markers by clicking the points that you want to dimension. Then double click. Use the hammer cursor to position the marker.